let's step into God's presence with thanksgiving in our hearts, with adoration. Let's thank him for his faithfulness from days 1 to 25. Today is day 26. Let's thank him for how far he's helped us. Let's thank him for his goodness, his mercies, his love, for showering, showering us with his love, for daily loading us with his benefits. Every time we gather here, God definitely shows us um, shows up and shows us his benefits. Father, we thank you. Lord, we give you praise. We worship your name. We adore you. You are faithful. No one can compare unto you, our God. Oh, good God, good Father. You are a good, 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 good God. We thank you. You are a faithful God. We adore you. We honor you. We reverence you. Thank you for all of our children that we have been praying for. Thank you for our families. Thank you for ourselves as mothers. Thank you for our spouses. Thank you, God, for the miracles and the beautiful things that you are doing in our lives and in our families. Lord, we bless your name. We thank you for how far you've helped us. We're just so grateful. We're grateful to you that you continue to show us your love. You continue to show up for us in all things. You continue to glorify yourself in our midst. You continue to uh, you know, lead us to pray, give us utterance to make the right declarations concerning our families and our children. We just thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Today, day 26, we are going to be praying for all of our special, special needs children. So if you if you um if you're a mom in the room, whether you have a special needs child or not, whether you know anyone with a special need, uh needs child or not, whatever the case may be, any child that is in your sphere of influence or on all of the children that are special needs in our community, we are going to be raising our voice to heaven on their behalf today. We're going to be trusting God for them as we enter into the new school year. Psalm 139 verse 14 says something very profound. It says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Your works are wonderful. It's, it's, it's the Bible. It cannot be disputed. God's works are wonderful. They are wonderful. And what that means is that we can declare the wonder of God in the lives of all of our special needs children. So whether whatever struggles that our children have, whether it's uh, you know, it's in, ter in terms of cognitive or even even if it's just that, you know, this child just requires more medical attention than the other other children whatever that looks like any child that you have around you that you know in this community that just requires that extra uh, extra care we are going to be lifting them up in prayer today because they are specially wonderfully fearfully made god's works over them are wonderful and we know that who will so let's begin to declare and say father we thank you for all of our special needs children in this community because they are indeed wonderfully made by you. I don't want us to relent in the way we are praying. I don't want us to say, oh, well, I don't know anything about it. It's going to be quiet. No, it's intercession. We are lifting up our voices and praying for all these children. Declare God's faithfulness over them the same way you would declare over your own children. If, 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 if it's the case that you have no special needs child in your life or even anyone you know, that's okay. Just pray for them. Father, we thank you. We declare, oh God, that our children in this community are all wonderfully made by you. We thank you because each one of them has a unique purpose, a unique identity, a unique destiny in the presence of the Lord. I thank you, oh God, because these ones, as the Bible declares, they are fearfully and they are wonderfully made. And we declare that in the name of Jesus Christ, each of these children, their lives are a testimony to the goodness of God. Their lives are a testimony to the wonder of God. Father, we thank you because these ones are a testament to your amazing creativity and love. And we thank you because these children are perfect in your eyes just as they are. Oh, Lord, we thank you. We give you praise on their behalf. We thank you, oh God, because your grace is abundantly sufficient for all of our children in this new school year. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, because your grace is multiplied unto these children. Your grace is multiplied to them, spirit, soul, and body. 
physically, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, whatever, in whatever way they may require the grace of God. We declare a multiplication of God's grace to them, to empower them to overcome every challenge that they may, that they may face. In the name of Jesus Christ, any challenge that may be on their way, that they may encounter, you know, for daily living, we declare in the name of Jesus Christ that the grace of God is abundantly sufficient for them in the name of Jesus. Father, we declare that your grace is abundantly sufficient for all of our children to overcome every challenge so that they can thrive in every area of their lives. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you because our children thrive. They thrive, they thrive, they thrive. We commit them into your hands, oh God. And we say these ones will thrive in the name of Jesus. They will thrive. These ones will thrive in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare that the grace of God is multiplied and is abounding for them in the name of Jesus. Because your word says, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, we declare that the power of God is at work in the lives of all of our children. In the name of Jesus, we declare that the power of God is at work in their lives, in their bodies, in their souls, in their minds. In the name of Jesus, we declare that the Lord will begin to turn every weakness to strength, every obstacle into an opportunity for his glory. In the name of Jesus, we declare that the power of God at work in the lives of all of us, our children, will cause every weakness to be turned into strength. In the name of Jesus, we declare over them that every obstacle becomes a stepping stone. In the name of Jesus, every obstacle becomes an opportunity for the glory of God. In the name of Jesus, Father, we declare because the Bible says that he will command his angels to give to, to guard us in all of our ways. How many of you agree with me that our special needs children need even more of God, of God's guidance, you know, and angels watching over them, preventing them from falling into any harm or, of, or any form of evil. And so we begin to declare over our children today that the Lord will surround them with his protection. Angels are on assignment concerning these ones. In the name of Jesus, we declare that the Lord surrounds them with his protection and with his care. And no harm will befall them. No harm will come near them. In the name of Jesus, these ones are enveloped in the care and protection and safety of the Lord. These ones are hidden in, with Christ in God and no evil, no harm will befall them. In the name of Jesus, the angels of God are commanded concerning them to guard them in all their ways to bear them up lest they dash their feet against any stone in the name of jesus we declare that angels are on assignment angels are on guard watching over these ones keeping them safe keeping them secure in every situation whether it's at home at school, in any kind of gathering, wherever they may find themselves, angels are on guard concerning them. Angels are on guard concerning them in the name of Jesus. Angels are on guard. Angels in angelic form and in human form. God raises help for them round about them. God raises help for them. Other people keeping an eye on them, watching over them, ensuring that they are kept safe in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray and declare that the right people, we're going to pray the right people into their lives. People that will be loving, that will care for them, that will understand them. Every person that surrounds them, whether it's caregivers, teachers, friends, that will encourage and support them. Father, we declare in the name of Jesus Christ that the Lord's hand is upon these ones and we pray an abundance of, of blessed people into their lives, an abundance of understanding people into their lives. We declare that whatever they will need, whether it's in the form of teachers, caregivers, medical personnel, whatever they require, 
I declare that these people are available to them, to encourage them, to support them, to care for them, to love them. In the name of Jesus, Father, we declare that the Lord will place the right, that you Lord will place the right people in their lives, surrounding them, helping them to become all that you want them to become. In the name of Jesus Christ, those that will believe in them, that will lift them up, that will encourage them and help them to reach their full potential. Father, we begin to pray these people into the lives of these your children. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray for these children and just trust the Lord because sometimes the right person can make all the difference. So, Father, we declare that we pray the right people into their corner, into their lives, around them, helping them, encouraging them, uplifting them, loving them, caring for them, supporting them them in the name of Jesus Christ, every person that they need to believe in them so they can reach their full potential. We begin to call those people forth in the name of Jesus. We begin to call them forth. We begin to call them forth in the name of Jesus. We declare that these children are filled with your peace. They are filled with the peace of the Lord. The peace of God will guard them from every anxiety in the name of Jesus. God's peace, God's joy, will guard them and guard their hearts, their minds, their bodies. In the name of Jesus, we declare that they are filled with peace, with joy, knowing that they are deeply loved by God and by their family. In the name of Jesus, we declare that the joy of the Lord is their strength. In the name of Jesus, I declare over every one of them that their hearts are filled with the joy of the Lord. That we declare that their hearts are filled with the joy of the Lord that will strengthen them in their bodies and give them hope every day. In the name of Jesus, we declare over them that hope will replace every despair. Hope will, re joy will replace every despair. Joy will replace every anxiety. The joy of the Lord radiates from within them. The joy of the Lord surrounds them. The joy of the Lord flows in them to overflowing. In the name of Jesus, Father, we declare that the Lord will continue to give them wisdom. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom on every side. In the name of Jesus, I want us to pray and pray for every person in their sphere of influence that these ones will receive the wisdom, the patience, and the strength. Whether it's you as a parent, whether it's their caregivers, whether it's teachers in school, anybody around them that can that, that has access to them to care for them, I want us to begin to declare and say, Father Lord, I declare that wisdom, patience, and strength are available. For all of these people that are in this effect of influence of these children, to care for them, to nurture them, to provide them with the right support, the right resources. In the name of Jesus, we declare that these ones are provided with the wisdom and the, and the patience of God. In the name of Jesus, we speak about strength, strength of of mind, presence of mind. We pray for them that physical strength that they require, mental strength that they need, everything that they require to nurture, to nurture, to grow, to, to be a blessing to these children. The Lord begins to supply unto them in the name of Jesus. They will not be alone. They will never feel, feel alone because the Lord will be with them with his mighty presence, helping them, encouraging them, showing that he loves them, always with them. May they never feel alone in the name of Jesus. May they never feel alone. We declare that in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will, be, will give guidance to every person, every adult, every support system in their lives. The Lord will guide them every step of the way. The right knowledge that they need, the right understanding that they require, the right wisdom that they need to be able to meet the children's needs with love and with grace. Father, we pray for them. The Lord, the Lord will guide them every step of the way. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will help them in the name of Jesus to know how to help these children with the right wisdom, the right knowledge, the right understanding. In the name of Jesus, Father, we declare that indeed, we, because of our true of, of this child or these children in our lives, we declare that our families will be a source of light and hope to other people. 
God can turn around anything and cause it to be a testimony. Father, we declare that because of this situation, our families will be a source of light and hope to other people so that we can show the love of Christ through even our, our difficult circumstance. Please mute if you're not muted. Father, we declare in the name of Jesus Christ. Please mute yourself. I think it's Chef P that is not muted. Please mute. Thank you. Father, we declare in the name of Jesus Christ that as, as caregivers, as, as parents, we declare that our family will also be a source of hope and encouragement in the name of Jesus. Reko Sataba. Chef P, you're not muted. Chef P, please mute your mic. You're not muted. We declare that our family will be a source of encouragement to other people. Will be a source of encouragement to other people. Because of us, we declare that another family will receive light. They will receive hope. We will show the love of Christ through the way we care and support our own children in this family. We declare that even as we support our special needs children, other people will draw strength and encouragement from us. In the name of Jesus, I declare that the journey of our family will inspire other people to bring glory to God. In the name of Jesus, we speak forth concerning every special needs family that because of the way they carry themselves, because of the way they show love and care, because of the way they show support, other people will, will see the lights that they, that they shine. And because of them, they will understand the love of Christ even more than ever before. In the name of Jesus, we declare over these families that your journey will inspire other people and bring glory to God as you begin to walk in the love of God and in the strength of God. In the name of Jesus, I declare that uh, my, 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 um, that his children's lives will be a testimony to God's power of love, to God's grace, to God's healing power. In the name of Jesus, these children's lives will be a testimony to the power of God's love, to the power of God's grace, to God's healing power in the name of Jesus. And we declare that these ones will fulfill the purpose of God for which they were created in the name of Jesus. Because the Bible says that he knows the plan, that God knows the plan that he has towards us. Their thoughts of peace are not of evil. Plans to prosper us and not to harm us. Plans to give us hope and a future. Therefore, we declare concerning every special needs child on this platform, ah, we declare in the name of Jesus Christ that their future will be full of hope in the name of Jesus. Their future will be full of hope. They will be guided by God's perfect plan for their lives in the name of Jesus. Father, we declare that, that even when the circumstances look bleak and they look, and they look like there, there's no hope, Father, we declare that hope will be infused into the hearts of these families in the name of Jesus. Let your hope be infused into their hearts, into their lives, in the name of Jesus. We declare that you, oh God, will cause there to be a turnaround in this situation for your own glory. In the name of Jesus, we stand in agreement today as mothers before you, and we declare that your joy, your hope, your grace, your strength will radiate over these families in the name of Jesus, will radiate over these children in the name of Jesus. People will look at them and wonder. People will look at them and wonder and say, how are you even doing it? How are you having peace in the midst of the storm? Father, we pray that these ones enjoy the peace of God. They enjoy the comfort of God. They enjoy the hope of God. They enjoy the joy of God. God's strength is multiplied unto them in a new way, in the name of Jesus. God's, God's blessings are multiplied unto these families. All that they require, every resource that they need, whether it's financial, human resources, wisdom, knowledge, information that they need to be able to be a blessing to their children. Lord, we declare that you make available unto them in the name of Jesus. They will not lack anything that is good because the Lord supplies at every need. The Lord supplies at every need to be able to care for and nurture these children in the name of Jesus Christ. 
tomorrow as we pray, we're going to still be praying for our special needs families tomorrow. You know, we're going to be praying for the moms. But, you know, I just want us to pray, you know, even before we round up today uh, for our moms, especially moms. You know, I, I know that the dads are also trying their best and everything, but sometimes the moms are the ones that feel these things the closest. I want us to pray and say, Lord, every weary heart, every mom that is weary, that is tired, that is discouraged because of their special needs child. Father, we declare that there's an infusion of hope, a, an infusion of hope and strength over them tonight. Father, we declare in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare an infusion of hope that you, Holy Spirit, will radiate over them. Holy Spirit, we ask that you will radiate over your children in this moment. Lord, encourage your weary heart. Encourage their discouraged hearts. Lord, cause there to be an infusion of joy. An infusion of joy into their hearts, of hope, of encouragement. We stand together with them today. We stand in solidarity and in encouragement with our sisters on this call and in this community. And we say, Lord, Lord, cause there to be an infusion of hope. Infuse your hope and strength into their hearts. Where they feel tired and weary and they want to give up. We say, Lord, carry them on the wings of the Spirit. Carry them on the wings of the Spirit, O oh God. Cause there to be encouragement for their weary and tired souls. In their bodies, Lord, strengthen them. Strengthen their minds. In the name of Jesus. I just want to thank you, God. Because I know that surely, <laughs> surely you have this, your daughters in mind. You're mindful of them. And you're mindful of their children. Thank you, Lord. Because from this moment onward, your peace will guard their hearts. Your peace, a passes all understanding, will guard their hearts and their minds. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, awesome Father. To you be glory, to you be all the praise. We thank you because from this moment, they rejoice before you. Joy overflows in their hearts. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, ladies, for standing in the gap on behalf of all of our sisters and the special needs families. We're going to continue to pray for them tomorrow again. Please make it a date. Let's lift them up in God's, you know, into God's hands, trusting them into the into the mighty hands of the Lord to keep them and watch over them. We'll continue to pray again tomorrow at the same time. And then, of course, um, on Wednesday, we are going to be having our revival prayers. So our back-to-school prayers will be holding um, at, at, a, at a different time. Because we're going to be praying for 24 hours uh, prayer train, we are going to be praying at um, in the afternoon, which is around, I think it's about 1 p.m. Mountain time. They're about maybe 8 p.m. Nigerian time. Yep, if I'm not correct, if I'm not wrong. Um, we're going to be praying our back to school prayers for day 28 at that time, right? So please make it a date. We're going to pray for our children anyway throughout the 24 hour period, we're praying for our children throughout the whole day. Uh, so please ensure you join the Revival Bootcamp group. We'll share the links and all of that before then. Is uh, our WhatsApp group here? We're going to be praying on that group and, and on Zoom as well for the whole 24 hours um, prayer bootcamp. God bless you. And I'll see you again tomorrow by God's grace. Have a good evening and enjoy the rest of your day. God bless you and bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.